Cape province of South Africa is home to several provincial nature reserves which are spread across the province and represent a broad range of natural biomes. This province boasts an extraordinary aquatic and terrestrial biodiversity which, if unlocked and managed properly, could result in a huge increase in tourist numbers to our province. This, in turn, would substantially enhance revenue into our depleted coffers and create the jobs which are so desperately needed. But we must be careful of our words. We must be very careful about when we say things, and in particular, why we say things, especially if these things are promises. It was Joe Moore who said, and I quote, you must not ever trust a promise someone makes while they're drunk, in love, hungry, or running for political office, end quote. Let me elucidate. Our Honourable Premier and our Honourable MEC for Finance, when making their respective speeches earlier this year, both mentioned that in addressing the triple challenges of poverty, unemployment, and inequality, a provincial strategy had been developed that is based on six economic sectors, one of which is the ocean's economy. The MEC went further to say that the radical economic transformation required in the province will, and I quote, be based on inclusivity and bring on board every community in our province, end quote. Madam Speaker, through you, I would want to ask whether these communities were invited to the recent function in Port Elizabeth where the sale of a year two fishing company shares was being celebrated with many political leaders allegedly in attendance. Perhaps they were left off the invitation list because they would have witnessed that those shares were not sold to or secured for our local SMMEs or for that matter, young black entrepreneurs, or even a cooperative of previously unemployed black women. No, despite all the rhetoric, those shares were sold to a Spanish company. Now, Madam Speaker, the last time I checked, Spain did not form part of this province and was certainly not part of the radical economic transformation agenda. Last time I checked, Spain had the dubious reputation of being historically one of the largest colonizers of vast tracts of the planet, both land and ocean, in order to secure raw materials to boost their own economy. I wonder what incentive was on offer to secure those shares. What a wasted opportunity for the people of this province. Madam Speaker, we must be careful of our words. In particular, we must be very careful of promises made when setting up agreements with local traditional communities in and around our provincial parks. Scales of benefit and the number of jobs to be created for community members are not just random numbers that can be adjusted when the economy stalls. The number of jobs offered to a community must be sustainable and negotiated agreements must never be reneged upon if the ECPTA wishes to build lasting and mutually beneficial relationships with their communities. Madam Speaker, our provincial parks are in a bad way. This is tragic as we will always maintain that we have so much more to offer in our province than in any other province in this country. But all is not lost. For failing businesses, failing entities and failing economic agendas, there is always a turnaround strategy. In this case, a six-point plan. But before mentioning the plan, there is a small matter of the annual DEDEET budget, and it would be remiss of me to discuss a plan without having first raised my concerns regarding this budget. I do appreciate the complexities of the DEDEET budget, particularly with regard to the many parts that make up the whole. I particularly appreciate that economic development is a key focus area. But, Madam Deputy Speaker, 
We cannot continue to throw a vast amount of money at developing businesses, many of which fail repeatedly, at the expense of our natural environment and the Directorate of Environmental Affairs, which warrants a paltry 0,14% of the provincial fiscus. I wish to draw the following comparison, and please forgive me, Madam Deputy Speaker, for being somewhat pedantic. The economic development part of the budget is like a beautiful sports car, which is under construction. Every part of the car needs to be designed, molded, crafted, and fitted perfectly. Once assembled correctly, the car will move, but it's not going anywhere for a long time as the parts are still being worked. The environmental affairs and tourism part of the budget is like a car too. This car, however, is already working and the engine is sound, but it has flat tires. These tires are expensive to replace, but if you invest in new tires, you will be on the road by tomorrow morning. In the meantime, however, the environmental integrity of our province is under severe threat. And without a budget, don't expect tires on your car anytime soon. So, Madam Speaker, we need to invest more heavily in the economic areas which will float our economy and create sustainable jobs faster and more effectively. In this case, these areas are environmental affairs and tourism. This, in turn, will support other sectors of the economy and the spillover effect will be felt across the province. The turnaround strategy is how we map the future. MMM APS maps. Maintenance, roads, buildings, fences require urgent repairs. This is the first priority and must commence as a matter of extreme urgency. The safety of tourists and their belongings must form an integral part of the maintenance plan. Management, this must include management of staff, of capital equipment, and most importantly, of our natural resources. If managers are undercapacitated, don't talk about training them, train them. As it happens, most of the park managers are motivated, passionate, and doing stellar work under challenging conditions. Madam Deputy Speaker, there is a global trend amongst avid fishermen to participate in catch and release angling, as the threat of extinction hangs over many of our marine and freshwater species. Catch and release sanctuaries where anglers are accompanied by a guide and a ghillie, and all caught fish are returned to the sea, are becoming popular worldwide. High-end anglers pay a lot of money for the privilege of catching fish because they are almost guaranteed of doing so when in an area of zero offtake. Think of the jobs this approach could create and the income it could generate. Criminal environmental activity, whether it is illegal sand mining, take off from marine protected areas, illegal poaching of our rhinoceros, or any other transgression, must face the full might of the law. For this, sufficient law enforcement officers are required. These jobs are sustainable, but where is the budget? Excellent environmental governance is crucial to our province's future. M for marketing. Once all the maintenance and management are taken care of, we must actively market the province on every possible flat, uh, platform, including social media and tourism in Darbas, both locally and internationally. There is so much here to attract tourists. Access. Parks must be both physically and financially accessible. Nobody can enjoy what they either cannot reach or cannot afford. Planning. Proper planning prevents poor performance. Enough said. Showcasing. Finally, those of us living here are privileged to experience the rich cultural heritage of the Amaklosa. Tourists want that experience too and are prepared to pay a premium for the experience. Madam Deputy Speaker, the time for promises has come and gone. I will not distress you with the Democratic Alliance's successes in growing the economy where they govern. Suffice to say that there are far less words and there is far more action.
The growing numbers of jobs and shrinking unemployment figures are evidenced in us. It is now time for action in the Eastern Cape. The East Cape Parks and Tourism Agency has in its hands a golden opportunity to create a thriving and vibrant tourist industry in our province, and together with the Directorate of Environmental Affairs, convert words into real jobs. No more words, just actions, and a decent environmental budget. I close with a quote from Vince Lombardi who said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Close quote. The Democratic Alliance supports the report. I thank you. Okay.